these people in power, people whose decisions directly or indirectly affect the lives of millions. What do we know about them? In their book, appropriately titled Snakes in Suits, psychologists Robert Hare and Paul Babiak introduce a new provocative term, the corporate psychopath. A psychopath is somebody who, as I've said before, is uh, without a conscience. Not because he doesn't have the intellectual uh, capacity to understand the difference between right and wrong. It's because the emotional connection with uh, the cognitions, the thoughts, and so forth is absent. Some of the characteristics would include this uh, stunning lack of empathy. Uh, lack of concern for other people, uh, the ability to look at other people as mere objects. When normal people are processing emotional material, there is greater activation in parts of the brain that nature's designed to handle emotionality. You can tell the difference between an emotional and a neutral event for these individuals, but for the psychopaths, you can't. Looks like parts of limbic uh, region, emotional brain, uh, hippocampus, amygdala, don't function the same in psychopaths as they do in other people. These are individuals who extremely are extremely uh, egotistical, self-centered, uh, lacking remorse for what they have done, knowing exactly what they're doing, and what they're doing is manipulating and deceiving other people for their own ends. And this includes not only the general public, but people like law enforcement officers who are trying to interrogate somebody, is the belief, the feeling, that everybody else thinks and feels the way we do. That uh, if, if, we have, if there's an emotional event, say, look at that, doesn't that just rip your heart out? And you uh, uh, expect everybody to get the same reaction. But the psychopath is looking at it, and for him, it, it's, not, it's a non-emotional event. When a psychopath is expressing emotion, is it the, the Stanislavski method of acting? Is he actually feeling it and he's able to project what's inside outside? And the answer is probably not. They're using facial expressions and hand movements, body language, that seems appropriate to an underlying emotional state, but is fake. I consulted on a movie uh, with Nicole Kidman called Malice. And she wanted me to go down to Hollywood to help her portray uh, what appeared to be a sweet, loving woman, uh, but who's really a psychopath. So anyway, she said, look, you've got to give me a scene. And I thought about it, and I don't know where it came from, but this is the scene I gave her. You have left your apartment, and you're walking down the street, and there's an accident. And then you look at the child, who was on the floor or on the ground, hit by the car, bleeding, probably dying. But kneeling beside the child is his mother. And she's emoting. She's going through every possible emotion that would be appropriate for that particular scene. And instead of watching the child and being horrified by the whole thing, you're kind of in passive, clinical, you watch the mother. And then you look at the child, back at the mother. And then you just walk away, unconcerned, walk back to your apartment, walk into the bathroom, stand in front of the mirror, and mimic the mother's expressions. That's it. The psychopath has learned that there are certain facial expressions, uh, forms of body language, that are associated with what other people say is a particular emotion. 